No, when you can do a dis dis a discretion <laughs> discrendo discrendo. I don't really say it in music. Discrendo discrendo. <laughs> that harmonic downward scale. Well, it's actually not downward. It's upward. In <laughs> the inverse vertical direction. <laughs> no. When a hawk descends, it does not land. Okay, it descends. No, levitation is not from the bottom up. It's from, it is the act of descending and hovering. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> when, when one descends, it is not fallen. <laughs> Definitely not, not even close. <laughs> not even close. It's not the landing. It hasn't land. Did. And they're not diving either. <laughs> so when something descends. When it said, <laughs> that means it leaves with more, but it doesn't mean it's actually leaving. <laughs> That's why you gotta use the word correctly. And then not describe it with a different word because another person doesn't understand that word. So you can use the synonym to get the context a little bit, but then go look up the other word. Now, what axis is ascent and descent? <laughs> is Black Hawk down a contradiction? Because, like I said, Blackhawks never go down, they descend. So, does that mean that that hawk oh, can ascend from that position? Now, kites, which have nothing to do with the Wright brothers, is a static apparatic substract in a mechanical form, in mechanical form, that explains why hawks always appear with thunderstorms. Hence, the Thunderbird. Now, just because scientists are too stupid to understand why these things exist, because they just showed up, <laughs> like them, they just showed up, doesn't mean they need to cut down trees that took trillions of years to grow. <laughs> like, and then observe it for trillions of years. <laughs> now... Just because y'all banned kites doesn't mean you can ban thunderstorms because y'all are scared thunderbirds are going to rain down on you like in the prophecies and all that for everything. <laughs> and then be mad that there's no clean water when clean water comes from thunderstorms. <laughs> so, <laughs> Nazi cleaning technology is being sued by the Thunderbirds. <laughs> and when I say the Thunderbirds, quotation around Thunderbird. <laughs> now that includes all
from Thunderbird to Kite. <laughs> now, Thunderbirds can't eat any of those things. And usually they want, <laughs> like, you know, all their materials back in the, in the form of, you know, Thunderbirds. Like, I'm not saying they eat each other, but like their own non genocided species. <laughs> Well, you try to make them look like birds of terror or something, which they're not. When the only birds of terror are the ones that killed them, or attempted to. So, <laughs> if... <laughs> Y'all want clean water? Stop using technology that just makes it difficult for birds to properly navigate through the air, which is why they tell you to turn off your phone or put it on airplane mode when on an airplane when ascending. <laughs> but not ascending, taking off, because animals that as or birds, when they ascend or descend, specifically hawks, cannot properly navigate through certain frequencies that aren't supposed to be in certain locations. So if you want to know what happened to that missing flight <laughs> and, and the type of technology that's out right now and why animal night migration and seasonal patterns and all this stuff is weird, it's because nature knows you're observing nature <laughs> and it's observing you. <laughs> now... And I mean everything in nature, like, just nature itself, so. Now, if people are declaring war with nature, the world against nature, like, I don't even know how you... <laughs> because y'all are... What? I don't even know. Y'all can't use your fear of things that you kill or attempted to kill that pose no threat to you to go and do worse things because just like Japan with the nukes that did not prevent things like Al-Qaeda. So contradictions prove illiteracy which means that geography, which comes after geometry, way after geometry, if people can't push buttons, which is geometry, do you know why people can't push buttons? Because you don't deal with shapes until you deal with characters, which come after letters. <laughs> and if you don't understand words or sounds, and nature's usually silent, and that means you're not literate. <laughs> and literate people know when and when not to push buttons, or which buttons, more importantly, exactly, buttons don't exist. <laughs> okay, so this is the point. <laughs> Literacy is important before geometry. <laughs> Whether you use keys for nuclear keys or whatever, <laughs> Which makes no sense putting two keys to press to, to shoot one nuke when there's two nukes, so two keys to it makes sense. But using sh shapes like that when they don't even understand what those things actually mean. Now, when a person is illiterate and they don't understand geometry, there's this place called nature, <laughs> it exists everywhere. And when you go there, you learn about geometry. <laughs> this is why Nazis separate men and women and do weird stuff like that. <laughs> and put th put things incorrectly in incorrect packages. And who is the best at packaging? Japanese people. <laughs> or economy. Now, all of this illegal marketing, a.k.a hypnosis 
is literally people putting things in the wrong place on purpose to cause bullshit <laughs> to happen because they aren't in the place they should be. So instead of <laughs> moving everything else, <laughs> or destroying all of nature, <laughs> To be in a location that's only significant because of nature, <laughs> it's better to promote the actual nature of the place because you cannot replace foundations or roots or any of those things. <laughs> like, at its core, that you cannot replace that. <laughs> Otherwise, you might as well just go to that place itself. <laughs> Okay, now changing time to make that a place a different place because in the future it's this or in the past it was this it was Kemet and now it's Egypt and now it's but then six hundred years ago it was this and twelve hundred you can't just use <laughs> cloud technology to change time <laughs> or weather manipulation technology or nature manip or nature things that are literally going to war with natural nature to change time so the space you're in is the one you still want to be in because you never developed at the rate that you're pushing nature to which fries it out actually it, it irradiates it which is still nazi technology so you are improperly using thunderbird power <laughs> and being returned shazam you don't get it either so So, Thunderbirds are much more literate than all of y'all, because they're from here. <laughs>